was good y'all red salsa back in the building with another banger and as y'all can see man by the looks of the title and the screen i got a very rare 100 plus badge build coming at y'all today going to be called the offense initiator build and like i said we are getting over 100 badges as you can see the sharp shooting takeover is going to be on point and this build is actually very similar to the rebounding wing now before we get into anything else i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity to be able to be a part of your lives but also have y'all in mind that means the world to me so i just need y'all to know that i appreciate y'all i love y'all shout out to the rich gang family and man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you know anybody looking to join rgf the rich gang family go ahead and turn on post notifications but do not forget to hit that like button y'all can we go ahead and get 50 big likes on this banger be sure to share it with your family and friends and man without further ado let's go ahead and get into the making of one of the best small forward builds that we will be seeing all year so to those of y'all who were paying attention of course we're gonna go ahead and make this build out of the small forward position i'm telling y'all the small forward easily has some of the best and most rare build names that you will be seeing all year a lot of wing builds come out of this position but also when it comes down to the defensive end a lot of lockdown defenders also come out of this position so when it comes down to the height we're going with six seven weight gonna be 181 and then as for the wingspan i'm going to put this to 7-1 now for the body shape bill is honestly one of the best ones that i would pick but also defined is another really good one it really just comes down to what you want to do your preference and also if you feel like it matters so when it comes down to these stats you're gonna see why I said this build really reminds me of the rebounding wing. I have dropped one for y'all already. So now let's go ahead and get right into it. The close shot, we're gonna go ahead and put this up to a 79. When it comes down to the driving layup, this is an offense initiator. So best believe we're gonna be able to get contact dunks on this build. Driving layup, 84 and driving dunk, 87. Now, when it comes down to the standing dunk, you want to go ahead and put this up to where we're going to get 26 badges, y'all. So put it to a 76 for the standing, and that is all going to be set right there with the contact dunks once we adjust the vertical, so do not worry. But now, when it comes down to the shooting, go ahead and put that mid-range shot up to an 80. You can go a little higher if you want to, but you also do risk changing up the build name. Now, when it comes down to the three-pointer, put this to an 82. That's going to give us 24 badges right there. And then as for the free throw, I'm going to put this up to a 70 just so that way we unlock all of the animations when it comes down to the finishing side of things. Playmaking, we're going to be able to get some animations. And also with that free throw being up means we're going to be able to take this build into any game mode of your choice. Now, playmaking pass accuracy going to be a 76 ball handle in 83 and the biggest difference here between the rebounding wing that i showed y'all and this build is that we are actually maxing out the speed with ball at 78 for another 24 badges so now let's go ahead and get into the defensive end interior defense put this to a 57 perimeter defense go ahead and put this to a 75 our steal going to be an 84 and now when it comes down to the block this is what's actually going to make this build really play like a two-way so max out that block at 83 and y'all already know that i cannot leave y'all hanging when it comes down to the rebounding side of this build a lot of people don't like to put into the rebounding me personally i feel like it really unlocks certain animations at certain levels so starting off with the offensive rebound i'm putting this to a 70 and then i honestly feel like the defensive rebound is much better in my opinion so go ahead and max that out at 86 and again we get another 26 badges making it 100 in total plus the plus four that we will be getting from college making it 104 badges now the speed we're maxing that out at 82 acceleration going to go up to a 76 if you want to max this out go ahead and do so but you do take some risk on this build so now when it comes down to the vertical i'm going to go with a 70 just so we get the contact dunk animations vertical going to be really a key factor about this build the stamina 
this is going to be an 84 y'all so as you can see we max it out at 99 right here and look at some of the badges that we're going to be able to get as you can see on the finishing side you really have everything that you will be needing out of this build when it comes down to the shooting i can say the same exact thing as for the playmaking you can work your way around this because honestly you do not need too many hall of fame badges when it comes down to the dribbling side of this build and then for the defensive we get a lot of wealth in this category which is honestly going to make it play like a two-way so you can really consider this a two-way offense initiator build but when it comes down to the physicals like i said i cannot leave y'all hanging with this when it comes down to the vertical you have to put it to a 70 just so we get those pro contact dunks if you want to raise it higher go ahead and do so but i can say that this is honestly the best offense initiator build that we will be seeing all year now the takeovers remember these give you a plus 10 to their specific attributes so for example slashing goes to the finishing shot creating and sharpshooting goes to the shooting of course and then the playmaking goes towards the ball handling so the first one that i would really consider really you can say that finishing moves is a really good one to go with and start with for me i really feel like that's gonna help out on this build especially to go with the build name now the second one i would consider between limitless range spot up precision as well as ankle breaking shots all of these are going to be some really good options to pick from but as long as you feel comfortable with this setup that you go with i'm telling y'all everything is going to work out in your favor so go ahead and pick whichever one you want for me i would have to say that limitless range and ankle breaking shots are going to be the two that i would highly consider so i'm going to go with ankle breaking shots just to be more unguardable and as y'all can see we have made the first ever 100 plus badge offense initiator build and look at the comparisons of lebron go james y'all now a couple things that you need to consider about this build running with teammates that are going to be having floor general as well as defensive leader so that's plus four then buying boost which is another plus four so plus a in total and then also with the slashing takeover that's a plus 10 again and then for the shooting we also get another plus 10 so let's go ahead and look at some of the main stats you're going to be able to get a 99 driving dunk also 99 driving layup when it comes down to the close shot this will be in the 90s mid-range shot is definitely going to be a 98 three-pointer going to be a 99 and remember this is all in takeover if you decided to go with the playmaking take you're going to be able to get a 99 ball handle speed with ball has the potential to hit the 90s as well and then as for the defensive just go ahead and add a plus eight to all of these stats perimeter defense will be in the 80s steel and the block will be in the 90s i'm telling y'all you really have to take into consideration what these builds are going to be looking like in takeovers with bind boost as well as running with the teammates that have floor general as well as defensive leader on hall of fame so let's go ahead and get into the badge count now First, I'm going to go with Silver, Posterizer, as well as Fearless Finisher. From there, I'm also going to go ahead and add in Limitless Takeoff on Gold. Now, Unstrippable, I really feel like it's going to be a solid badge to work with. So I'm going to put it on Gold as well. We got 12 more that we're going to be able to work with. So I'm going to go with Fast Twitch on Gold. I feel like a lot of people don't use it too much when it comes down to the smaller bills. For this one, in my opinion, I really feel like it's going to be a really solid asset. And now... Let's go ahead and also throw in Slithery Finisher. That is going to be another solid batch to put on. And then for the very last three, I would really go with Acrobat just to unlock certain animations when it comes down to the layups. Now, let's go ahead and get into the shooting, y'all. So 24 badges right here. A lot of wealth in this category as well. I'm going to go ahead and start it off with Silver, Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame Sniper, of course. Now, we got 50 more remaining, so these really just come down to your preference and play style. For me, I'm going to go ahead and add in gold, corner specialist, silver, catch and shoot, silver, deadeye. And then for the very last couple, I'm going to go ahead and add in volume shooter on bronze, green machine as well. We got three more remaining, so go ahead and really spread the wealth here if you want to go that route. I really feel like set shooter is going to be a good one or even stop and pop. Now, let's go ahead and get into the playmaking another 24 badges that you're going to be able to work with. I'm going to go with Hyperdrive and Quick First Step on Silver. From there, I'm also adding an Unpluckable and then Stop and Go on Gold. Now, I love Bronze badges, so I'm going to spread the wealth with Bullet Passer, Bailout as well as Needle Threader. Another one that I like, Handles for Days, of course, on Gold. And then Silver, Triple Threat Juke is going to be a solid badge to go ahead and add in. Now, if you want to, you can definitely 
go ahead and take off needle threader just so that way you can actually go ahead and upgrade your triple threat juke to gold that's another really good setup to go with and that's how i'm gonna leave it so now let's go ahead and get into the defensive end i'm going with gold intimidator silver rebound chaser silver rim protector and you cannot forget about hall of fame hustler very overpowered badge i'm also going to go ahead and add in chase on artists on gold bronze clamps bronze interceptor as well you can go with silver if you want to and then for the very last couple of bronze badges you can really go with bronze or silver normally i would go with bronze chalice defender but i'm going to go with silver today and then bronze ball stripper and this is a setup that i would really consider but if you want to change something up you can go from ball stripper to pickpocket it really just comes down to what you want to do but here's what we're going to run with 26 defensive then we get 24 playmaking another 24 shooting as well and then for the very last category we're going to be able to maintain a total of 26 finishing badges again i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity thank y'all for coming through and showing love and showing your support i just want y'all to know that i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i thank y'all with all of my heart but man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new anybody looking to join rgf the rich gang family go ahead and turn on post notifications but do not forget to hit that like button man let's go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but not least y'all with all that being said i got one last thing to say thank god and rich out